What's up, you goofy goobers? Uh, we got the the BAM is out. The the BAM finalist for BAM eight are out. <laughs> Unfortunately, my map didn't make it, but let's go check it out. All right, guys, we're here in the all finalist room, and let's go ahead and get into BAM one. All right, so BAM one is a factory for uh, it's like a Yeep factory, and uh, I'll go ahead and start the tour. So first of all, if you get this yellow key. You can go ahead and come in here. These are like these little offices that uh, these white uh, gnomes can sit in. And these are chairs. This is a much better... Hey, get out of the way. These are much better chair designs than what I chose. Uh, I just went ahead and went with 2x2, two 2x2. By two, two by two. But yeah. Moving on over here. Well, not next one, next room. Over here, we'll get back to later, but this has the showers. These are showers. They're supposed to clean you. And, uh, it, it also leads downstairs and upstairs, so we're actually gonna have to come back to this room later. But I'll go ahead and show you the main factory first. You guys might have gotten a glimpse of earlier. This is the full view of the factory. And we'll go ahead and start in this area. So this is just a little small cotton farm thing. And this isn't much. But this is right next to this area, and this is where they build yeast. So you come out of this hole, and this is like your arms and stuff. And then over here, they'll meet up with the stuffing things, and they'll put the stuffing on here. And then once you get your stuffing, you'll go from this teleporter, well this conveyor belt, to this conveyor belt. And from here, you'll turn from your little stuffing thing. You'll trigger your, the pulse gate, and you'll get covered in your skin. And then you become a yeep. And I'm guessing that's how yeeps are made. Boop. And so, yeah, let's get on to the next conveyor belt. Now, actually, despite the, the snowman conveyor belt technically being next, I want to do gnomes next, since for me and my brain it goes. Yeeps, gnomes, snowman. Crab clam, then a hazmat, so that took way too long. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna go to the gnome next. So basically here, you just get a uh, gnome parts, and then this guy right here, he's gonna build the gnomes. Not sure where everyone else is, but uh, yeah. Now we're gonna go do the snowman conveyor belt. This here is the snowman conveyor belt, and uh... Basically, it's kind of like the gnome conveyor belt. All the parts are laid out. And then, they're put together by workers. And, as you can see right here, this very last guy here. My coin stash. My coin stash is making me happy. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and cover the other stuff. Anyways, uh, down there, they're gonna bring that up. Since they're still working on that. You can see, like, there's the little stretches you see in, uh, like, places like Home Depot or Lowe's. Over here, this is a crane. And, uh, it's a much safer crane. It could still definitely use some improvements. Like, you know, you can still break through here, but it's definitely much safer than the one in construction site. But if you see down there, it's a little claw thing. It broadcasts... It broadcasts... A, the black wireless transmitter and these receivers will trigger this so that I can pick stuff up Anyways, uh, now down to the room uh, the upstairs and downstairs room. We're back to this room. So uh, yeah um, So let's go ahead and take the zipline um, Wait better idea better idea slam our face through the floor and uh, kind of you know make a crappy transition where you fall through the floor But you know do it for the why nots anyways. Uh, yeah now we're down here. Um yeah, uh, this is, uh, another conveyor belt. There's, um, this white hazmat suit guy here, uh, this is just a stand. This is a little stuffing storage. Now this! This looks interesting. Nice, I won. Anyways, this looks interesting. It, it looks like a little planet. Supported up with light, well, like, not light blue. Neon blue strings that these guys are looking at. Now, over here, uh, this is just, like, a little spider thing that they're testing on, probably. Like, a little spider robot they're working on. 
this over here is probably also that uh, they also have much cooler opening doors than uh, my BAM entry. But anyways, uh, the, the, I'm not really sure what they're working on here. Probably some other kind of robot. Looks like a stick figure robot. Anyways, uh, yeah. Over here, it appears that something has been broken. So this beam has been shot out. And if these are gnomes, by the way. Kind of hard to tell. At least for me at first. And there's also another buck coin chest here. And, um, uh, then there's over here. Pretty sure this is the last section of the underground. This is just a bunch of neon green shenanigans. And guess what? Everything is also connected by these vents, so, you know. Not sure where the neon green key is, but down here will lead to back here. And yeah, maybe we should go try and find that neon green key. Not really sure where the neon green key is, uh, and I want to keep this video short, so we're gonna move on to the uh, sorry, not spam yet. Uh, I completely forgot uh, about upstairs. Anyways, let's go upstairs. Upstairs is the smallest floor, by the way. This is Mr. CEO here. His chair is very destroyable, so that but the thing is, he'll still float. And up here, you'll also get a great view of the factory. He also has his own little computer, and I have no idea what this is. Yeah, no idea what it is, but it kind of reminds me of a tanning bed. I think that's what it's called. Anyways, now, next BAM. Let's go. BAM number two. Um, not really sure what this is. It's like a club nightclub. Uh, like a club nightclub thing. And, uh, not really sure. Anyways, uh, this is, a this is just a pool table right here. Doink. Now, I have noticed many things. Like, for example, this pool ball isn't done for some reason. And all of them are also, like, some of them are made of pillows. Some of them have pillows. So, like, I feel like there's something wrong maybe with these. I'm not sure. Boink. Bullseye. Not sure what that did. Anyways, yeah, so you can also come into the, uh, little holes down here. Which, uh, they form a tunnel. Like the pool ball tunnel. And you can get a brown key here. Huh. So this is what the brown key is for. And the first time I came through to look at this stuff, I never figured out what the brown key was for. Anyways, back out we go. Uh, it's like a little gaming club, but like, board games club. Anyway, so, uh, this is a giant dartboard. Uh, I'm not really sure what those buttons are supposed to do since they're not turning that thing on. These are the cue ball, well, not really sure what the heck they're called, I know. <laughs> eh, not really sure. Uh, the, sorry, you haven't talked in a while. These are pull sticks, yes. These are these little figurine things. This guy has a power thing on him. And this guy has a horn. Pretty sure it's just a starfish. Using this zip line, you can get on top of the light. Which I'm pretty sure triggers the light. Ah, I just fell. Let's get back. I'm gonna go back and get that put there. Hello. Huh, no, apparently not. I guess it does nothing. Anyways, by the way, it's also May 2058 for some reason. It's May 2058 for some reason. Don't know why they decided on that date. And it's either 11.45 or 12.45 depending on the kind of clock. Down here, uh, you got your, not sure what that is actually, it's probably a lamp. This is a slice of pizza. Don't know who just puts a slice of pizza on the floor. And then this, I think, might be a can of soda, though not really sure. And also back here, using this, you can play tic-tac-toe. And there, Red Wind. Pretty sure that's about it. Oh, and I forgot to cover these guys. That's a random rat in the floor, and I'm pretty sure 
This is a toy choo-choo train. I think it's kind of weird. Oh, it, it doesn't connect. But yeah, why the heck is this side like this? Like, why is it absurdly big? I just... Feels kind of weird. But I'm pretty sure this is just the toy choo-choo train. On to the next map. Anyways, yeah, on to our last build. Uh, it's a Martian rocket ship. Uh, you can't really tell that from here, but... First of all, when you walk in, these are your essentials. You got this cool little, uh, pattern thing. By the way, these two colors are different for some reason, and that really bothers me. And to the left and to the right, you also saw these earlier from over here. You can enter this event, which here, uh... That looks like a kitty clam. Uh... You can find the yellow key. And... Oh, party. And you can also find a red key. No, not this way. Which, uh, they're used to get from outside to inside. You know, here, this is a really cool entrance, by the way. See this trap wood. I'm gonna leave this here for now. Uh, this, you can use to power this. To activate those. And this, you can use power this and I'm pretty sure there's an and logic gate in there somewhere so uh yeah and logic gate so that it'll power the teleporter so then you can get up here with this is a really cool entrance but the looks are kind of weird uh, let me get out of the way if it goes back what the heck just happened we'll actually get up to the spaceship later so for now, I'll give you the tour of the space base, which is different than the spaceship. So this here, uh, this will let you go down. And this here is, uh, your little base, like the, like the Martian civilization. Don't so yeah, you got a Martian civilization. Here's like a little study base. It's not particular, it's not exactly safe because, uh, there's broken glass everywhere, but, you know, we're okay with that. We're okay with broken glass everywhere. You know, to the point where it could, like, depressurize, uh, your base and then, you know, you can't breathe. But, you know, we're all fine with that, right? And, yeah, so this is what it looks like out there. When I went through the teleporter, I went up there. That's what you saw. And, yeah, let's go check this out. Martian party. By the way, you see that over there is because that's from the party room from earlier. But yeah, uh, Martians, I guess, are very festive. Not really sure how else to say it. Oh. Ooh, spaceship. I'm gonna come back for you at the end of the video. Anyways, uh, but yeah, you can. Those keys from earlier you can just use for this. This is the secret shop. Very secret. Oh. I'm dumb. And this just leads back to here. The yellow should also just put you back down there since the red is there. The yeah, yellow door just leads to the normal. Nothing secret. It's all normal. Normal shop and normal dressing room. Very ugly looking door, but it has a cool opening animation. This breaks the glass, by the way. That's not good, you don't want that in your rocket ship. And this just opens that door. Here's where you steer. Boop. I said let me boop. Not sure what that just did. Let me out. Oh, oh gosh. That's it. Anyways, yeah, that's all for the rocket ship. It's pretty small. Down we go into the Martian. So over here, uh, we'll just go hill by hill. This is the weirdest hill to my knowledge because of that. And then there are these just caverns everywhere. Not sure how to activate that. Um, and then you got all this stuff here. And this is a little secret area. Buckman stash. Wait a sec, isn't there like another buck coin stash somewhere in this map, to my knowledge? I found a white buck coin stash in my, while I was still learning so that I could uh, 
understand the map better. Anyways, down here you got a secret lava river or something. And this is not something you want to see generally, but hopefully it's okay. Go. This is where you can see the behind the scene things and stuff of under it, so that extreme pulse delay. And then down here. Here we go up. I random know. And boom. I'm gonna go ahead and shove my face in a few other bushes now. This is our last BAM entry. Well, not our BAM. This is the last BAM finalist, so, uh. Yeah. Personally, I think this one's the coolest, despite also being the weirdest. But it's really close with 3 and 1. My vote might also go to 1. 2 is also pretty good, but. I just don't think it's as good. So I'll go ahead and uh, get to the outro and uh, show you guys my opinion about everything. Okay, yeah, it turns out uh, audio didn't sync, so now I'm doing another voiceover in a closet. Anyways, but basically what I was going to say was 3 and 1 are going to be really close, but 2 is going to be further behind. And since I'm actually doing this voiceover after the results have come out, I can say I was right, most of it, except uh, 3 was actually way ahead of 1, so that's the only thing I got wrong. But yeah, that's about it.